And now at six, a South Florida student could soon be Google's next star. She just took first place in a hotly contested competition. That high school senior is a finalist to create one of the next Google Doodles. That means her artwork would pop up as soon as you want to Google something. CBS 4's Bianca Peters has the story from South Miami. I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm a little nervous because everyone's looking at me. This is Betty. Well, hundreds of millions more people could be looking at this 12th grader from South Miami Senior High very soon. I was hoping for the best. I didn't think I was going to get the, the Florida win, but you know, it's a happy turnout. Betty Fonseca, or talented artiste, beat out every K through 12th grader from across the state of Florida with her Google Doodle design. It's part of the ninth annual nationwide competition for students to showcase their creativity in redesigning the Google logo. This year's theme, what I see for the future. The doodle is meant to empower women to reach for success, to reach for higher education. And I don't know, I just kind of went, I dived in head first and this is the outcome. The hopeful outcome for Betty now is to make the top five finalists and eventually win the entire competition, earning her a scholarship as well as a $50,000 scholarship to her high school. If I win the national competition, then I mean, it would honestly be great because it's $30,000 and that's already my entire college tuition. No matter the outcome, winning the Florida Google Doodle Challenge will definitely take Betty one step closer to her dream job. I have a set plan. The first place is Pixar, second is Disney, then Google, then illustration. But, you know, working for Google, it's, uh, it's changed the world. Google has changed the world. It would be an honor to work for them. Well, Betty Fonseca needs as many votes as possible to get her to that top five finalist position. We'll have more information on our website, cbsmiami.com, about how you can cast your vote for her Google Doodle. Reporting in the newsroom, Bianca Peters, CBS 4 News.